cancers arise from within. Surely all cancers, everyone should be getting cancers because it's as a result of disruption or deregulation of cell division, which means that almost every species on the planet should be getting cancer. And this is actually true. This is precisely what happens. Almost every species on the planet will develop tumors, including dinosaurs. Now, dinosaur fossil records have shown that dinosaurs also develop tumors. However, there is one exception, and that is a lovely, extraordinary little rodent called the naked mole rat. Now, this species is tiny. It's less than 35 grams. It's blind. It's really ugly to look at, too. I don't think it's going to do any uh, favors on looks. And it lives underground, but it's got an extraordinary long life. It lives for more than 30 years. And for the size of the animal, that's really, really long. And the other unique thing about this species is that so far, we have not detected its ability to form tumors at all. So that means it is resistant to cancer. So if we understand what makes this animal so unique, it will give us some idea of how we can deal with human cancers too. There is some emerging evidence to show that actually the reason why naked mole rats develop resistance to cancer is because their cells are quite unusual. What they have is something called as contact inhibition. And what that means is that contact inhibition is like an anti-cancer mechanism devised by the cells. If one cell comes too close to another cell, it will stop dividing. And in fact, cells in the naked mole rat are highly sensitive to this contact inhibition. Just two tiny little cells are enough to stop cell division in this species. So if we have a handle of understanding how cells divide in the naked mole rat, this will help us understand how, to, uh, how cancers originate and how we can treat cancers in humans too.